taking a little detour today as I want to spend some time showing the capabilities of this plugin that I just can't believe how good it is uh, inside of Houdini. And the plugin that I want to show is the Modeler 2025 for Houdini, uh, which is written by this guy, Alexi, uh, and it is worth every cent. My only complaint about this particular tool is there just aren't enough great uh, tutorials out there, honestly, that show you how to use it. And so I wanted to take a play out of John Dickinson's playbook. Uh, and while I learn this kind of record the experience. So John, and I don't know John, I don't know Alexa either, but, uh, I followed John for some time, uh, when I was coming up on blender and, uh, you know, he learned Blender out in the open, essentially, and he did that by building little things in Blender and uh, applying really good modeling techniques to it while he learned the tool. And about three years ago, he built his first Blender tutorial, and I kind of want to redo that, kind of the same vein. I'm going to show you the project or the show you the uh, kind of process of learning Modeler while actually building something. Let's jump into Houdini. I, ha I do have my little keyboard thing to show you because keystrokes is so critically important to this particular tool. And I'll show you that as I go. Uh, I'm not going to go into the installation of the modeler plugin. You can figure that out, but I do highly recommend jumping over to the modeler uh, desktop uh, experience here, uh, because that's where he, uh, Alexi automatically sets up a bunch of shelves, which you'll definitely want to spend some time going over and you'll definitely want to check out the tool tips for each of these uh, tools as uh, a lot of the documentation is basically stored there. Um, now, Alexi does have uh, some documentation that you can get at, which I'm showing here, that uh, if you break out the readme file, he has a link to this. Um, it's Spartan though, uh, and it's just got the basics in there. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. It's just, uh, you know, if you're looking for more, you're, you're going to be a little, little disappointed. So let's get into this. One last thing before I start to model though, uh, go to the modeler shelf and take a look at the hotkeys associated with the modeler plugin. This is a great way to get accustomed with the, with the tool, um, while you're also checking out all the tool tips with all the tools. Alexi, again, the author of the plugin is clearly focused on how do we make direct modeling enjoyable inside Houdini and using keystrokes to, you know, increase your efficiency in your workflow is so clearly apparent, um, in, in terms of how much thought he put into, uh, you know, having a really seamless experience while you're building inside Houdini. So enough talk, let's build that little little tool, whatever that is. Um, okay. So I'm going to use the first modeler, uh, keystroke here to bring up, uh, this little menu and I'm going to select tube and I'm going to jump into the geometry by hitting I. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to set this, uh, but to, to columns to 16, now I could click in there and, and drag that, or I can use what Alexi calls a palm slider. And that is basically holding the Z key and just not even clicking my mouse. I'm just dragging, right? Dragging left and right. You'll notice the columns is jumping here, right? I'm showing that instead of just typing in this in because it becomes such a key and, and very important mechanism when you're working with modeler and it changes for every tool, but that is, is just super cool all by itself. Now I'm going to turn off these caps. Okay. Hit escape. And I'm going to go into the front mode here and I'm going to hit another modeler keystroke, which is the apostrophe brings up the selection thing. And I'm going to say, I'm going to, quickly toggle over to lasso box. And I'm only going to, I don't want visible. I want these top two, uh, oh, sorry. I want to be in edge mode. Okay. So one thing you, you hit apostrophe, go over to edges. You get to the point where you just hit apostrophe faces, apostrophe edges, points, edges, super fast. Right? So let me, let me do this again. So I'm going to tech select these top four here and another modeler keystroke shift F click drag. Okay. I'm extruding. 
Gonna do it again, Shift F, click drag, okay? Great, now I'm gonna switch over to faces and I'm gonna select uh, these faces, I'm gonna turn this back off, okay? Got all those faces. And now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these are evenly spaced. It's something that John talked about in his tutorial and uh, we've got direct support for that here. So I'm gonna say evenly space those, but you'll notice how it kind of messed with my topology here a little bit. I don't want that, I want that. But then another, it pulled this up and I don't wanna, I don't wanna quite do that yet. And it's a good opportunity to show you a couple other modeler um, really fast and efficient techniques here where I hit G to bring up the manipulator, but you'll notice that the pivot is right in the middle here, which is by default. So I'm gonna, I wanna change the pivot, put it on one of these pick, uh, points down here in order to align it here. And you can do that really fast by hitting D, hold the D key, hover over one of those points, click, that changed the pivot, now I'm going to hold V before I manipulate this, V, drag it down, and select the point that I want to align with. Done. Okay. Awesome. So that's there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to switch over to edge mode. I'm going to select that guy, hold A, select, shift, A, select, and then hit B. That's the bridge mode, again, modeler. Okay. So now what I want to do is, I think I've got 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, 12 faces. And so uh, I'm going to hold that palm slider and add some cuts here until I got 12 of them. All right, but now I need this thing to, to round out and you just click curve mode and then let's play with the magnitude there. Okay, cool. Uh, great. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to, cut a bit here but now you'll notice i haven't set up um there's you know any kind of symmetry and let me show you how you do that in modeler so um honestly the the ability to to symmetrize in modeler is so good i don't even really bother setting it up i always just do it when i need it but let me show you how you do it in order to like follow along with john dickinson if you wanted to um you hold alt x and you indicate which axes you want to turn on uh, mirroring. So I want it to be on the X. You'll notice down here, I want it to be on the X. Okay, great. And then I want to just clip it along the X. Oops, I turned it off. <laughs> now I want to clip it. Great. And if you want to see uh, the, the mirror, you can Alt X, go into other and say toggle the instance. Okay, great. So now all that's there. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make that cut. I wanna cut across here. So the way you do that in Modeler is I'm gonna select faces and I'm gonna select the faces that I want the cut to um, basically have impact on. So I'm gonna select all these faces. I'm gonna go into my front view and I'm gonna hit Q to bring up this big menu and I'm gonna select knife. Now, before I cut, um, I'm going to hit V again to basically select where I want the cut to start from. And then I'm going to just drag down and I can let V go at that point. And there I cut W and go back out. And you'll notice the cut went all the way through and it originated directly on that one pixel. Okay. So go back over to face mode. Uh, let's select these guys again. And I'm just going to hit X. Get rid of those, okay? Great. All right, so now I want to, I wanna even this flow out a little bit. So I'm gonna select my edges. I'm gonna hit Control B, T, bring that up, say about, let's say about there. And I'm just clicking on with the mouse, up and down on the mouse, okay? Now I'm gonna go into an, another extraordinarily powerful tool inside Modeler which is the polypen tools. And you can get to that uh, by hitting Q and select polypen. Uh, and you will quickly become accustomed to getting to that real easily. Let me go back out of it by just hold hitting Q and then pushing to the right. And it gets you into polypen mode because you can just, it's so fast. The great thing about polypen is I can just select this and it shows you kind of like here in the middle of this particular face. So I'm, what I wanna do is I'm gonna 
click and drag, and I want to go to the middle of that other side there, which shows you the direct middle, click and drag. Again, select that middle, great. And then I'm just going to click here and go to this edge, which and it's just snapping. It feels so good. And I want to remove these two, just click them. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to hit shift to move this, slide it down. That's constraining it and then control to move it out. So it's not being constrained just to make that a little bit more smooth. All right. Cool. Uh, let's look at the top. Is that, how's that looking? Okay. So notice that, that this point is a little bit skewed. I'm going to select that, hit G and I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Okay. Come back. All right. But you'll notice that this isn't uh, being symmetrized along the Z axis right now, right? And this is um, a, a really cool feature again. And it's, it's based on your, your, your viewport where if I want this to be symmetrized over there, I hit Alt V, click the button, done. And again, it's based on your viewport. And this is why I don't even bother with the symmetry these days. I just, I'm just doing it when I want it. Um, cause it's so fast and easy to do. All right. So let's go back over to edges and I'm going to select these guys here and I'm going to hold a and select down to there. Cool. And then I'm going to come over here and shift a go over there. Cool. And then hit B to bridge those folks. Uh, again, I'm going to hit Z and, and add, uh, let's see, is that enough? Yeah, let's just go with that. And then I'm going to select these two, select these two and hit B again. Cool. Double click. Cool. Go back into poly pen mode. Just move that up a little bit. Cool. All right. Great. So now let's uh, go back into edge tool, double click this. And now I want to do an extrude again. I'm going to shift F and click and drag. Great. But that's not what I'm looking for. I want to quickly go back over into ver or point mode and those are selected. Another cool modeler um, feature is Alt F and I want to flatten to the right. So now all these guys are aligned. I'm going to bring up the gizmo tool again by hitting G, hold V, drag this in, select the point that I want to align with, let go. Okay. So now I can say, uh, I've got the gizmo still up. I'm going to hit E to scale it. I'm going to scale it down and hit escape and hit shift C to make a circle. Okay. I'm going to go into the right mode here and I'm going to go into point selection. I'm going to just select these because I want to just move this up a little bit. I'm going to move that up a little bit and then I'm just going to select those and move them back down a little bit. Cool. All right. Now uh, I'm going to go back into edge mode, double click this and I'm going to go extrude. This is control E this, and I'm just going to push this back. Cool. Great. All right, now let's do, let's get some bevels in here. Um, yeah, so let's double click this guy and double click holding the shift key there. And then I'm going to hit shift B to bevel. And then I'm going to click and drag my left mouse button. And you'll see I can do that. And then, you know, left and right here. And then I'm just going to wheel up once or wheel down actually. Um, and then I'm going to click the... Um, I want this to be a crease essentially. So it makes the profile hard like this. Okay. And then, uh, let me deselect everything. And then another really cool modeler feature is the ability to preview your sub D. So I'm going to go hold F I'm just going to tap F one to go into sub D mode. And don't worry about this down here. That's just, um, once we symmetrize over, it's, it's going to go away, but this notice how this, that little nasty little crease there, that's no good. No bueno. So now to get out of this preview sub D mode, just click in the background and you'll notice here that that's happening. Well, now I can go back over to the bevel tool and I can just slide on rings. Just hit auto. See how that collapses that. And now if I go back into sub D mode, fixed, right? And if we want to fully fix this, so that this thing goes away, 
Um, let's just uh, get out of the whole symmetrized thing. So let's clip. Let's turn this off. Sorry, let's just turn this off. So we're not doing that. And then move your viewport over here. And there you go. Now let's see where we are. Cool. And that is a quick intro into Modeler. I think I'm going to do a few more of these as I continue to ramp up on the tool, but it is just so good. Again, kudos to Alexi and kudos to the Discord community uh, over there on his Discord server. Just prove as just really helpful folks.